Okay, welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer Discovery 4, Part 7.2.2. This packet tracer is building the prototype network. So in order to build this network, it starts out with no connections and no configuration on your routers. So the best resource is to go to your Netacad page. This is my CIS 104 class. And you have to go to Student Resources and the Peck Tracer Student Lab Manual. Download this folder. It's a PDF document. And then if you scroll down to page 100, it covers building the prototype network. And it gives you the addressing table that the Packet Tracer is looking for. And you have to be careful that you connect the right cables to the right ports. So using that IP address table, I set up scripts for each router and switch. So I have my interfaces, the IP addresses, and the subnet masks. These are all taken from that PDF file. And then you have to set up router EIGRP, no auto summary, put in your networks. It probably helps to put in the wildcard masks. I know it does on router 3, otherwise it doesn't set up EIGRP correctly. And you have to set a password online VTY 0 through 4. You have to log in, exit, Carry out the same scheme through all four of your routers and your two switches. Make sure on your switches you have interface VLAN 1, no shut. Apply your IP address and subnet mask and your default gateway. And then again, set your V2I password. Same thing for switch 2. Now if we check the results, this is a helpful tool in this assignment. If you hover over some of these, it tells you what interface it wants connected to. If it's giving you an error, that's kind of a little clue there. So this one's 100% completed. We can do some basic connectivity tests here. So I'm going to ping this, the discovery server. Actually I'll just go 172.18.4.25 Okay, so this guy can connect to the server. PC, well we'll go ping. ping the 25 so we're able to ping that server 172.18.4.25 so this guy can talk to the server and these routers of course you can use your show IP route Let's try to show CDP neighbors. There we go. So it shows it has one neighbor. So that's a little odd. Anyway. I will post these scripts with my assignment and that concludes this packet tracer.